Hey guys, it's Sean. This is Devlog9. I tried to add a For Honor style combat system. It works as intended. Looking in a different direction will change the next attack, but it looks absolutely horrible and doesn't really fit the game, so I kind of scrapped it and opted for something less complicated. Instead, I went for a kind of Last of Us inspired melee combat, just focusing more heavily on the finisher side. So I checked the asset store and found a bunch of finisher animations that look pretty sick. So I added this animation pack by Ramsters. Their stuff looks pretty sweet, so it's worth checking them out. So here's the evolution of the combat system so here it's it's horrible here it's um, even worse but now it's not so bad I had a lot of fun adding these into the game and I really wanted to emphasize the idea of picking up random objects to use as weapons and having combat be more interactive with the surrounding environment one interesting thing when adding these finisher animations was having to snap the character to the right positions the player and the enemy could have some amount of distance between them and for the animations to look smooth and interacting with each other, the player calculates the distance between itself and the target and smoothly closes the distance. Using this in combination of the ragdoll physics, I could then just simulate the physics of the enemy according to the player's animation. There's not much progress for this week, so I guess I'll just fill the video talking a bit more about the game I've planned. So one of the main goals is to build a settlement that can support itself. So there's resource gathering, building, farming, and of course defending. Over time the player can save survivors from quests or accept warning travels into, into the community. Pretty much just to build a safe haven for survivors. Or the player can simply live alone, gathering supplies and junk that would make their home feel more like home. I've decided on a map like world with set locations. It's kind of hard to explain. So basically levels laid out on an open map where each location consists of a small area. But it will cost resources to reach new areas. So as for a storyline, I, I really haven't given it much thought. You're basically just some guy picking up stuff and beating up zombies. That's all for this week. Activate that like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Yeah.